All right, welcome back to the Platteville Golf and Country Club. I'm Dan Wacker Schauser with Marketing at Southwest Tech, and we're with Matt Romer, head golf professional here at uh, the Platteville Golf and Country Club. Thanks for having us, Matt. Absolutely. Uh, we're here for the uh, Charger Golf Classic, and Matt, um, obviously here at the Platteville Golf and Country Club, you guys put on a lot of uh, big events every year. What does it take to put on one of these events every year? Uh, actually, it takes a lot of work. You got um, got to get carts in. You got to get them ready. You got to get them prepped. Uh, scorecards, scoreboards, flag events, all kinds of stuff that people don't really see behind the scenes. Sure, and uh, the course looks great today. It's a beautiful day. Uh, what does it take uh, to get the course in shape, not just for a, a you know a big group, but just for the general public? Uh, quite a bit of work, uh, especially lately. We've had a lot of rain, so uh, we've had a lot of excess mowing to do uh, to get ready for today. Uh, sand traps, uh, we had to get them pushed back up. Uh, all the rain had washed them out, so it took a lot of work, and the crew outside did a really, really good job doing that. Sure, and at Southwest Tech, we uh, we have a golf program, a golf team. What does it take, uh, I guess for you, you're a golf professional, what does it take for somebody to, to be in your position, Matt? Uh, well, it's changed since uh, since I've gone through it, but um, uh, I know a lot of the kids nowadays are going to a golf management type of school uh, to get into the PGA. Uh, back in my day, it was you played. And then you got accepted. You played the, the the PAT, and then you could could start the PGA courses. So uh, I think it's probably a little bit simpler now for people to get into, which is a good thing. So, but yeah, so it's a lot of work though. No matter which way you go. Sure. And every year, this is the third year for the for our Charger Golf Classic, and we rotate uh, between different golf courses. For people that are new out here to the Platteville Golf and Country Club, when they come out today, what can they expect, Matt? Uh, a very fair. Uh, and challenging golf course um, for every level, uh, to, from the beginner to the expert. Um, it's a, a relatively shorter golf course, plays a lot longer than what the scorecard reads, uh, a lot of good uh, holes out there, tree-lined fairways, but again, it's a fair test of golf and it's, it's a good challenge. Uh -huh. and, oh, and, uh, sorry. Uh, greens are just, you know, greens are uh, small greens, undulating, uh, great shape. Um, and the course this year has just been an outstanding shape this year. So, and also uh, after the uh, golf tournament, we're going to have a program um, in the uh, in the restaurant area there. I know you've seen, had some improvements in there. Can you yes. tell me about that a little bit? Matt? Yeah, um, uh, it's been quite a few years back now. I guess uh, they totally redid the bar area, um, so it's uh, got a, a new look to it, a new modern look, a lot of TVs. Uh, have great sporting events in there. Um, you can watch, like I say, plenty of TVs, uh, good food, uh, cold drinks, uh, pretty much anything you'd want. So, Sure, and if you, uh, you don't come out today for the Charger Golf Classic, make sure you come out and visit the Platteville Golf and Country Club. Uh, it's open to the public, is that right, Matt? Open to the public. Everyone's welcome. Great. Absolutely. All right, thanks, Matt, and have a good day. You're welcome. Thank you.